so students uh, welcome in this uh, second lecture of uh, magnetism and matter the topic is the dipole in a uniform magnetic field in first lesson you must be study the dipole that is electric dipole in uniform electric field so this is very similar as I told you at the beginning that uh, this lesson is based on first and fourth lesson. One more thing I want to tell you, if you are not subscribed the channel then please subscribe, you share with your friends so maximum students get, get the benefit of this. So this is fifth lesson topic. Suppose uh, we need to find the magnetic field some place. Suppose we want to find our magnetic field. So what we are going to discuss is one of the technique to find the magnetic field at a given point. When we sprinkle the fine powder of uh, iron surrounding to the paper placed on a magnet, it forms certain pattern, but it does not give the magnitude of the magnetic field and to find the magnetic field, we have different techniques and one of the techniques what we are going to discuss that is the theoretical base is this one only. Okay, so when a magnet with a dipole moment M placed in uniform. magnetic field, the torque acting on it, torque is equal to M cross B. As we know, electric dipole is P cross C. It is very similar. We can derive this formula also, P cross C. So, this is the torque acting on the magnetic dipole. So, it is mb sin theta, this is the magnitude of that, but we know that torque is equal to I alpha is equal to mb sin theta. So, because of this torque, magnet tries to align along the direction of magnetic field. Suppose this is the direction of magnetic field and we have a magnet, this is south side, this is north side, so this is the direction of M. So this is the angle theta. So, this magnet tries to align in this direction and if it is free, then it will rotate and tries to align in this direction. And if suppose we give little opposite torque and leave it, so in that case, external torque and torque due to the magnetic both are equal it remains in equilibrium okay so if this is magnet because the magnetic field we apply torque externally and that is torque is equal to i alpha so both are in opposite direction both are in opposite direction so one is one direction other is so this way we put negative sign so this is uh, r i alpha is equal to d2 theta by dt square this is nothing but 
angular acceleration plus mv sin theta is equal to 0. And if displacement is very small, then you can say that sin theta is equal to theta. For smaller angle, theta, we can write this. So, we, dare, we can write d2 theta by dt square plus mv upon i theta equal to 0. So, you can see that this is very similar to the second order differential equation d2y by dt square plus omega square y equal to 0. You can compare this equation with the second order differential equation. This is nothing but it is equation of simple harmonic motion and multiplier of i is the omega square. So, here multiplier of theta is omega square. So, which implies that omega square equal to m b upon i and therefore, omega is equal to root of m b upon i and therefore, f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root of m b upon i and therefore, t is equal to 2 pi root of i upon m b. तुमने याद हो शे कि आपने ये फॉर्मूला तुम्हें डिराइव करें शा पहला कई तो कि t is equal to 2 pi root of i upon p e where p is the electric dipole moment and e is the electric field i is the moment of inertia so here also i is the moment of inertia m is the magnetic moment b is the external uniform magnetic field b t is the periodic time at which it oscillates so it like this when it is placed in the magnetic field, so it will oscillate like this. This periodic time depends on moment of inertia. More the moment of inertia, then more the time. If magnet is more with more strength, then it is less. External field is more than it is less. So you have two formula. Both are very very important. Uh, one can ask applied equation based on this. Uh, formula only. Formula is very simple. We will discuss that part also. Okay. So, if you want to find out B, B jo find karu hoi. So, we allow to oscillate and we find out the periodic time. And if you know the periodic time, you know the moment of inertia of this magnet I and you the magnetic moment of this magnet and you can calculate B. So, B ni calculation karo mate a formula use hai se. So, earth no mara magnetic field chodhu hoi. So, we allow to oscillate our magnet in earth magnetic field. Okay. So, we can calculate earth magnetic field using this formula. So, this is very, very important. Okay. This is very, very important. So, based on that, we have this problem. This is the figure, magnetic needle is here as magnetic moment this much. So, m is equal to 6.7 into 10 plus 2 minus 2 ampere into meter square. And moment of inertia is given by i is equal to 7.5 into 10 plus 2 minus 6 kilogram meter square. You know the unit of this. Sigma mr square yad na hoi to sigma m r square is i and for road if it is road then 1 upon 12 ml square if it is sphere solid so 2 third 2 fifth if it is solid then 2 fifth hollow then 2 third yeah that you should know. Uh, 10 oscillation it takes this much time so periodic time is equal to 6.7 upon 10 so is equal to 0.67 seconds what is the magnitude of the magnetic needle? What is the magnitude of the magnetic field? So, you have to calculate B. So, we have T is equal to 2 pi root of I upon MB. I take this small m, so I write small m. And therefore, sorry.
So we have this uh, I want to calculate B. So take x square in both the set, t square is equal to 4 pi square i upon m b and therefore b is equal to 4 pi square i upon m t square. So we substitute all this value. So 4 pi square into i square that is 7.5 into 10 plus to minus 6 square divided by sorry not square only i divided by m m is given by 6.7 into 10 plus 2 minus 2 and t square is 0 0.67 square so you use calculator and you find out so b is comes out to be uh, i think it is one tesla or like saying like this 0.1 Tesla something. So you will get an answer is in Tesla. So we have comparison of electric dipole and magnet dipole. So electric dipole we take length 2A, magnet dipole my length is 2L. P is equal to 2AQ. M magnet dipole moment 2LM. M is the pole strength. I am pole strength. Yeah? Direction is from negative to positive charge. Your direction is from south to north. Electric field on the equatorial line. Because in a positive charge or in a negative charge. So this is your equatorial line. From the other shape. And this is called axis. Okay. This is axis. And this is equator. Okay. So in a R2 field. And in a M upon R cube. Epsilon 0 in denominator. Mu 0 numerator. X is equal to 2P upon R cube. 2m upon r cube. We already derived this. Torque is equal to p cross e. Here torque is equal to m cross v. U is equal to minus p dot e. Here u is equal to minus m dot b. Okay. Periodic time is equal to 2 pi root i upon p. P is equal to 2 pi root i upon m b. So, I pause karin ne lag jo. Karan ke nita tamara data loss to shay. Aku table banai na khwano. Na table ne tamara learn karwano shay. आज जो याद हसे तो आम बहुत वार लागती होती नथी, ओके? अरे वो टेबल तमारी पे छोड़ दो सु पोस करी ने लग जो कि जेथी करी ने तमारा डेटा नो लॉस कोटो नो था, ओके? आई गो फॉर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक, दैट इज़ द हाउ यू इज़ इक्वल टू माइनस पी बी एम डॉट बी, सो व्हेन We rotate magnetic dipole in uniform magnetic field. Field against the torque acting due to magnetic field will conserve as potential energy we are doing the work against the torque acting due to magnetic field it can the potential energy conserve so work is equal to integration torque into d theta so what is your torque mb sin theta d theta so mb is the constant integration of sin theta d theta so this comes out to be mb negative of cos theta sin theta integration is minus cos theta so minus mb cos theta so we are rotating it from 0 to theta or theta 1 to theta 2, you can write that also. I write uh, from theta 1 to theta 2, okay. So, theta 1 to theta 2. So, this is, uh, I write here theta 2 minus cos theta 1, okay. So, this is the work done 
to rotate it from theta 1 to theta 2. So, theta 1 is the smaller value and theta 2 is the larger value. So, this is smaller than this one. If theta 2 is greater than theta 1, then what will happen? Cos theta 2 will be less than cos theta 1. So, this is negative. If this is negative, then the work is positive. So, W will be greater than 0. So, this work is conserved as the potential energy. Potential energy is conservation. Okay. So, and if ulta, so then work is negative. If the theta 1 is less, theta 2 is less than theta 1, so yeah, ulta the work will be negative. It means potential energy will decrease. Potential energy will decrease. Okay. Atyar potential energy works. So if it is aligned, I am aligned the loss, I am aligned with the work I am aligned so, whatever the work is conserved is a potential energy. So, when you this, again it aligns. When you have to work in the potential energy Potential energy is more, so it comes back to original position. So, it converts into kinetic energy. Okay, if there is no friction, then we can apply work energy theorem. So, we have to delta U plus delta K equal to 0. Okay. So, again we revise little bit, uh, okay, for different position of the magnet, what is the torque and what is the potential energy. So, theta, we take 0, 90 degree, 180 degree. So, torque is equal to m cross b, so m b sin theta sin 0 is 0. So, here torque is 0, potential energy is minimum. So, this is called stable position, stable equilibrium. Here torque is acting, potential energy is more, so it is unstable. Uh, sorry. So it is in equilibrium. So whenever you put here, it always tries to align in direction magnetic field. Theta 90 so it is in equilibrium. Amesha fair fire coro pachi mu jigi avija like a stable equilibrium. And if theta is equal to 180 degree, then torque is zero, but potential energy is maximum. So potential energy was there over the shoot high. Say disturbance coro mu position a pachu nave and lane ke unstable equilibrium. Equilibrium actually a part of the care discuss curio away mechanics of them. Yeah, this is carry away mechanics of whatever. So, a theta ni judi judi position matter what is the torque and what is the potential energy. A minimum potential energy say zero is minimum nati compared to this negative, this is more, and compared to this, this is more. But as equilibrium, no, okay, unstable equilibrium chai, but potential energy ni vada reche torque zero. Chai. Okay. So now I discuss very important thing. It is a very useful in solving the problems. So our basic bar magnet is length is two L and this area is A. Okay. So magnetic dipole moment. is given by m is equal to ln mp where mp is the pole strength two l is the length now if i divide this magnet in this way parallel to the axis or parallel to the length so this is now one magnet and this is the second magnet. So, if we divide it 
in two equal parts, then you can say the magnetic moment of upper part and this is the lower part, both will be equal, okay. So length is not change, so M1 will be equal to M2 is equal to length is not change, so 2L, but area is change, so area become half, so now it is MP by 2, so it is becomes M by 2. I, I, I am talking for the magnet only, okay, so m by 2. So, if you divide, dividing magnet parallel to the axis, so I would have. And if you divide, dividing in two parts, perpendicular to the axis. So, like this, I am dividing like this, understood? So, this is part 1 and this is part 2. So, if you say M1 and M2 of that, M1 and M2 ni ve vaad karu hu, to so I write sidewise, yes. Okay, M1, I say M1 prime is equal to M2 by V, they are divided equal parts. So, what is my formula? So, 2L, but now length is divided, so it is divided by 2, but pole strength remains as it is, so MP, and so it becomes again M by 2. So, whether you divide parallelly to the axis or perpendicular to the axis, magnetic moment will be half. In this case, because of dividing the pole strength and in second part, because of the dividing the length. So, it is very, very important dividing into two parts perpendicular to the axis and parallel to the axis. So, when you divide in parallel, then pole strength become half, so magnetic moment become half. And when you divide, perpendicular axis, length is reduced to half and so magnetic moment becomes half. So, I bogat ye nu chai, kari te magnet ne abde cut kari ye chai. Then, uh, now I am going for this periodic time because I finished this because I have still few minutes. Yes, we have few minutes. So, we have periodic time. Let us see t is equal to 2 pi root of i upon mb. This is our formula. Now, look at here. So, that is the magnet was first that one. Now, I am dividing in this way. Parallel. So, upper part and lower part. Upper part no have periodic time get loose as upper part no periodic time get loose so t prime is equal to 2 pi as it is so is the moment of inertia change mare bada variable check karvana so jo you know cut kari so definitely it will change magnetic moment is also change magnetic field is not change so i can write t prime upon t is equal to this upon this 2 pi 2 pi will cancel so, you will get I prime upon I into M prime upon M. T prime upon T, this upon that curve, okay. So, what is the new periodic time? periodic time, you have a magnet, it is allowed to oscillate. So, I have periodic time T, I have to cut it, I have to cut it, I have to cut it, I have so now what is i and i relation with i and i prime so i prime and i no relation over i mean i is equal to 1 upon 12 ml square and what is i prime it is 1 upon 12 m is the mass so mass become m by 2 length become half sorry length keep as it is so it is l only 
So this becomes 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 12 ml squared. So I v prime is equal to I by 2. So I becomes I by 2. So I prime upon I ke luth hase. I prime upon I is equal to 1 by 2. So we keep 1 by 2 here. So this is root of 1 by 2. Okay. And what happens to the magnetic moment? So M and M prime become M by 2 that we already discussed. So this 2 2 is cancelled. So it is 1 only. So T prime upon T is equal to 1 means T prime is equal to T. So no change in the periodic time if you cut parallel to the axis. This is case 1. Periodic time. Case 1, when cut parallel to axis. So, out of shape. Now, second case, perpendicular to the axis. Equal part, Nivar Kriyasho, equal. So, again, I write same formula here. T prime upon T is equal to T prime upon t is equal to root of i prime upon i into m prime upon m. So, what is now i prime and i? So, i is equal to as we know 1 upon 12 ml square and what is i prime? So, 1 upon 12 m becomes m by 2 l becomes l by 2 square. So, you will get 1 by 4 1 upon 12 ml squared. So, second is 2 to ja 4, 4 to ja. Oh, sorry, this is 1 8 also. I am sorry. This is 8. So, this becomes 1 by 8. Okay, 1 by 8 i is equal to i prime. And therefore, i prime upon i is equal to 1 upon 8. So, I do this all. So, my position also, this is 1 upon 8. And this is m upon m prime. So it becomes 2. So you will get 1 upon 4. So is equal to 1 by 2. So t prime is equal to half of t. So tami jo, if you cut parallel, the periodic time name but like if you cut perpendicularly, to periodic time kilo t jishe, half t jishe. So as you may show what kariche, so our time now break question, kanabuda banavisha kwana chi. Okay. Formula Marie any revenue is equal to pi root i upon mb. So when you cut, so but the concon variables in Marie Juano, i is variable, m is variable. Now, I know about a little jig experiment, the b variable when you say, if I am experiment, go for you, general product experiment, go to the other magnetic to judoce, the magnetic to judoce, the periodic time change to this. So, even if I variable, but this is. Okay, thank you very much.